Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Mr. Mario. I'll be bringing you all a educational video. Why? Because one of my friends and I got onto the topic of this. Now here's the story, okay? He wanted to buy a phone that was Verizon locked. And he wants to get on Walmart's type of uh, family talk plan or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it is, but from what I know, it's a inherited version of T-Mobile to go. Now, he wanted to get the SIM card, get the plan, and then buy that Verizon phone, unlock it, and pop it in there because it had a SIM card slot. So he contacted me because apparently I guess I know how to do everything, and he asked, can I unlock this phone? He gave me the mall number, and I checked it out. One look at it, and I was actually able to tell that I could not do it. Mainly due to the fact that there is CDMA and GSM. Now, many of you might not be familiar with this, and this is something I just learned as well, but I'll try and break it down for you all. So, I'm going to be talking here about uh, United States carriers like T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, places like that. Now, AT&T and T-Mobile are both GSM. So the way GSM is set up is that you have a little SIM card, and this phone, this iPhone right here, uh, has a slot for a SIM card. GSM works on SIM cards, and the way GSM works is that you deal with two satellites, so you only deal with a pair of satellites, and you're always between them. While as with CDMA, you're running on a triangle of sorts, so you're always within the triangle. Now, CDMA, I will admit, is more reliable most of the time. Uh, you'll get faster data speeds, less dropped calls, and uh, just better reliability overall. However, one thing is that with CDMA, uh, such as Verizon, everything is going to pro be programmed on your phone. Like, for example, uh, you cannot switch out SIM cards. Like, if I wanted to, I could pull my SIM card out of this phone that I just got, and this is a T-Mobile phone, but I run on AT&T. They're both GSM, so it's fine, but this one I unlocked myself. I could take my SIM card out of here right now, out of my Galaxy, and throw it into my iPhone, and it will be okay. However, if it was on Verizon, I would either have to go online, or I would have to go to a store and have an associate, uh, associate do that for me. So that's just how it works. So you don't get as much flexibility with that. But why do CDMA phones have SIM cards if you can't use them? Well, even if you unlock it, they put the SIM card slot there, so if you go overseas, you can use a SIM card from a carrier overseas. However, you cannot take an AT&T SIM card, for example, and put it in a Verizon iPhone and expect it to work, because that will be CDMA. Uh, it's just the way the phones are set up, and I don't know of any phones off the top of my head that are both CDMA and GSM. I don't even know if that's possible, and you might have to excuse me, because I really don't look into phones too much. But this was just one of those things that I knew. So that's the way, really, those two types of band services work. Now. I do use GSM, and um, I do unlock the phones. This phone is still locked. I cannot unlock it, but this phone is unlocked. And uh, it's nice, it's convenient to take overseas, and normally GSM is more well-known. Um, but CDMA, as I said, it's going to be more reliable. But mainly, the thing you have to walk away from this and know is that... GSM phones will not work on CDMA, and CDMA phones will not work on GSM. You just can't get them to work whether you unlock them or not. So that's really it. So if this phone was CDMA, I couldn't put a GSM SIM card in there or anything like that. Because over here, GS, um, CDMA does not work with SIM cards, at least in the U.S. I'm not 100% sure overseas. Someone might want to correct me. Anyways, that is it for this video. So short video just explaining the difference between the two. Anyways, thank you all for watching. This is Mr. Mario, signing off. Peace out, you guys.